Hello students, I am Imani Sharma, your UGC Net Educator. In this new YouTube video, we are going to move forward with the paper 2 concept series which are related to English literature, UGC Net. So, we have tried to cover multiple poets, multiple things in the previous slides, in the previous lectures that we have had. We have tried to talk about poets like Kamla Das, who is a confessional poet, right? We have tried to talk about other poets, just like Michael Madhusudan Dat. We tried to talk about Toru Dat, Henry de Rosio, right? Rabindranath Tagore. etc. So these are certain poets which we already have covered in the previous lectures. There are more of them. You can view those particular videos on your own and as well. So who is the poet of note that we are going to talk about in today's video? He is A.K. Mehrotra, right? You would have heard his name when you see the illustrated history of Indian literature, right? He was the person who edited that very particular book. So we are going to look at his image and see. He was born in the year 1947. So this, is, this fact is of note. First of all, let me just tell you. He was born in the year 1947 in Lahore. And when I say it is a fact, why do I call it a fact? Because in today's time, Net has started asking questions which are statement based. Correct? So, of course, they will provide you with one question, one statement here, then the other statement here. So, this could be a statement there that A.K. Mehrotra was born in the year of independence. So, of course, he was in the, you know, born in the year of independence 1947. So, you will not be confused because these particular dates, the Koga Kola Kab Aya, it's established. Kara, these particular things have been asked in the net examination. When was coffee introduced in Britain, etc. So, you need to know certain factual information because the level of net examination is raising with time. Now, he is a poet, translator, essayist and an editor and we are going to review certain works of his which he has edited, certain poetry. So, we do not have much and much more information about him but so much so as we could gather. So, we have provided those very particular things in the slides for you all. So, coming back here again, poet, translator, essayist and editor and again, Coming back here again, his name, his full name is Arvind Krishna Mehrotra. So, you all need to note down the full names of the writers where it has not been provided. Correct? Born in Lahore, already told you, teaches at the university, at University of Allahabad. And in 2009, in the year 2009, he was nominated for the Chair Professor of Poetry at the University of Oxford, which again could be asked as a statement-based question. So, at the University of Oxford, he was given a position. He was nominated for this very position of Professor of Poetry, which is, of course, such a big thing for an Indian, basically, to achieve abroad. A history of Indian literature? Right? In a literature in English, it is edited by him. Already told you, we, when we read about Indian literature, we refer to this very particular book. Merutra's collected essays, because we have talked about that he has been an essayist as well. Partial Recall, written in the year, published in the year 2011. So, these are certain facts which are related to Arvind Krishna Mehrotra and how we give prominence to this particular book of his because there is a compilation of whatever we need from the net perspective in this very particular book of his from the Indian literature. He has been the author of four books of poems. You need to note down these very particular things in the chronological sense only. And I suggest most of the times if I bring certain things of note for you all, right? And they are in chronological sense. 
आप ट्राई करो दैट यू राइट दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग इन अ क्रोनोलॉजिकल वे ओनली बिकॉज फॉर मी इट वर्क when i used to make my own notes i had a pictographic visualized memory so i used to say no first of all ye likha tha maine then it came so on and so forth so even if you do not really memorize the dates the years etc you know that which work came first second third fourth etc nine enclosures now they have started asking questions from indian literature as well so you all should be noting these very particular things as well Number one, nine enclosures published in the year nineteen seventy six. Then we have distance in statute miles that was published in the year nineteen eighty two. Third one, Middle Earth, nineteen eighty four, and the fourth book of poems, the Transfiguring Places in the year nineteen ninety eight. So you all keep on writing, jotting these very particular points down. Then we have other works of his Oxford Indian Anthology of twelve modern Indian poets, which was published in the year nineteen ninety two, has been a significant and influential work in Indian poetry. So he has compiled twelve modern Indian poets, correct, and tried to analyze their poetry in this very particular book. So because it's because because of the fact that it is an anthology of the twelve modern Indian poets. His translation. So he was a translator as well. The absent traveller with the subtitle Prakrit Love Poetry from Grihaspati of Savna Hal, right? Which was published in the year nineteen ninety one. That is Prakrit, not Prakrit, right? Has recently been reprinted by Penguin Classics. So, of course, if you are getting reprinted, if you even get printed. your book your works get printed by penguin classics it means that your work has been done greatly correct so of course his translation has been there he has been a translator as well what are the styles and themes that we see prominently in his works prominently in his poems etc he is one such person who tries to experiment with things experiment with what kind of things with the form right the form of one poetry from the which is different from other poetry language and poetic techniques reflections on personal and cultural identity can be seen as in his poems an engagement with history mythology socio political or socio political issues can be seen in his particular poems if you read if you get a knack of a particular book of poems which have been written by him so when you continuously will read them you will find a pattern but the pattern will also keep on changing because he tries to experiment with things correct early poetry was much and much influenced by the movement of surrealism right so we see that there are have been certain movements which somewhere or the others in influ other influence the writers so which movement influenced him which movement influenced ak mehrotra it was surrealism so there was this house which was established in the 1970s along with the poets so this can be a question that pick the odd one out who has not been a participant who has not been the founder or co-founder of these this very particular you know house known as the publishing collective known as clearing house so along with adil jasawala jeev patel and arun kolatkar so there have been three Jeev Patel, right? Arun Kolatkar, and the fourth one being Arvind Krishna Mehrotra. So these four people started or founded the Bombay, Bombay Poetry Publishing Collective, which is known as. clearing house so these are the four people they might ask you in a question of match the following or pick the odd one out or choose these 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 particular options only so these four names should be on your tips when it comes out to the question related to the publishing collective that is known as clearing house in response to a lack of outlets for indian poets and their poetry right so these people established this very particular house so that there the indian poets 
poetry, the poems, etc., they get published without any kinds of hurdles, without any kinds of obstacles, etc. Then we have, he has been an editor of different, different kinds of, you know, works. The Oxford Indian Anthology of 12 Modern Indian Poets, he has edited, edited that very particular thing, 1992, correct? A History of Indian English Literature in the year 2003, Collected Poems in English by Arun Kolatkar in the year 2010. He has been the person who has edited these very particular works and Amit Chaudhary has given certain remarks of him. Saying, in the state word of Indian poetry in English, Mehrotra appeared to be what is today called cool. Correct? So, this is what we can call it the criticism of Mehrotra. Correct? So, that is there. Now, he has also published a poem named Songs of Kabir, which was a translation of the Dohas, Kabir ke Dohon ki translation has been there, translated by A.K. Mehrotra. He has succeeded in capturing the ferocity and improvisational energy in Kabir's poetry. Divided into nine sections, which include upside down poems. Second is, is there a paradise anyway? Handcuffed to death and beware of snares, etc. Right, so these are four out of the nine sections which are there. So you need to know that Songs of Kabir, right, which has been published, translated by whom A.K. Mehrotra, it has nine sections. Four sections ke naam humne already we have seen. So we are going to read one of the poetry from Songs of Kabir, which is titled The Brief Life of Lars. The gardener's wife cut short the brief life of the flowers and offers them to a lifeless stone idol that a sculptor carved feet on its chest, chisel in hand. So you see that we in this very particular stanza see that how beautifully Kabir has described and even Kolatkar has translated his thoughts into English saying that there has been a flower right and which has been plucked which has been cut short by the gardener's wife Mali ki wife ne us pa, you know the fool ko tol liya hai basically cut kar liya hai to offer to whom to offer it to a stone idol ek murti pe chadane ke liye had the idol been alive it would have lashed out at the sculptor that why have you plucked this very particular flower the creation that i have created the god would have you know lashed out at the sculptor it would have seen through the priest who grabs all the food, the faithful bring, leaving the scraps to the idol. Not one, not two, but everyone's a sucker, says Kabir, not me. Correct? So beautifully, the brief life of flowers, even the title suggests that how they are chosen, they are cut short, their life is cut short, their life is really brief because they are offered to idols, which are stone idols, etc. Correct? So, that very particular thing. Then we have another poetry of his, which is titled To an Unborn Daughter. If writing a poem could bring you into existence, I'd write one now. Filling the stanzas with more skin and tissue than a body needs. Filling the lines with speech. I'd, had even, I'd even give you your mother's close bitten nails and light brown eyes. For I think she had them. I saw her only once through the train window in a yellow field. She was wearing a pale colored dress and it was cold. I think she wanted to say something. So it is this particular poem to an unborn daughter. It has been, you know, published in his collection, The Transfiguring Places. And we see that he is talking about, he is dedicating this very particular piece of poetry to a daughter who is not born, but he wants that yes, he would have had a child with the woman that he saw through a window who was in a yellow field and how he would have had a daughter by her. And of course, what features did she have even if she could emerge from his poetry, if it would have been so easier. Correct? So we are going to see once again certain other things. He was born in the year 1947 in Lahore. 
he lives in allahabad in today right he is of course alive and as i told you it is a fact then we have talked about he taught in the university of allahabad his full name is arvind krishn mehrotra he has been an editor of a history of indian literature in english and there has been a book of essays partial recall which was published in the year 2011 which was written by him then these are the four books of poems nine enclosures 1976 distance in statute miles 1982 middle earth 1984 and the transfiguring places from which we see which was published in the 19 year 1998 where we see the poetry the poem to an unborn daughter theek hai and the works and his translation these are the names oxford indian anthology on the 12 modern poets in english modern uh, modern indian poets sorry and the themes of history mythology socio political issues and his influence from what from what movement surrealism in the year 1970s he founded clearing house which is a publishing poetry publishing house which was there he founded that with adil rasawala reef patel arun kalatkar and the fourth founder was himself that is ak mehrotra what was the name of the publishing house the name of the publishing collective was clearing house then he has been an editor of the oxford indian anthology of 12 modern indian poets history of indian literature in english collected poems in english by whom arun kalatkar so we have read this very particular poem the brief life of flowers and two an unborn daughter and this is what we had about with what we were supposed to do about ak mehrotra in this particular video i'll bring forth certain other kinds of poets etc in the other coming up you know upcoming series which are related to the concept series of paper 2 as well thank you so much keep on studying have a good day bye bye